Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to explain how to solve one simple problem using stat probe. The question is like this, prepare the structural model of the beam as shown in the figure and draw the bending moment and shear force diagram using stat probe. So they given one 5 meter beam at end A it is supported with roller support at the end B it is supported with hinge support then they loaded with 40 kN UDL. So I am going to launch the STAT Pro software I am using select series 6 version. Here is the first page of the STAT Pro software. In this, I am going to start with new project. Then I am going to start with space type of problem. In space type of problem, I can deal with 3D type of problem. So here I will give the name. I will name it as beam number 1. Then I will select the length unit as meter and force unit as kilonewton. Also, you can locate the folder here. Then I will click on next. Here I will start with add beam problem. In add beam problem, we can get the grid. By using that grid, I can prepare the model. Then I will click on finish. So here we will get the grid. By default, if it is not showing, so just I will close this window. So I will get the option here that is snap grid option. So if I click on that option, same grid I am going to get. So first thing I have to start with modeling. So before starting that modeling, I have to understand one thing. If this icon is on, that is in blue color, it is going to capture this grid. If this is not in blue color, it is not going to capture this grid. So if I want to create that model of 5 meter beam, I can zoom in, then I can do the pan using scroll button. If I on this icon, then it is going to capture. So by default, it is in isometric view. I can change the view here, that is front view. So now from 0 to 5, I want to create one beam because by default these grids are one meter distance. Once you completed that 0 to 5, then you can off this one, then you can close this window. So if it is not available on the screen, you can go for this icon that is a display whole structure. I can see the entire structure. Then I will go to front view. To see the length of the beam, I can go for this icon that is display node to node distance. So click on that first node and last node it is showing 5 meter. If you don't want to see that dimension you can go for next icon that is remove all node to node distance. So I can click on that it is removed. So the next step I am going to apply the property for this beam. So by default I am going to take 0.3 into 0.3 meter rectangular property then I am going to provide concrete as a material. For that I will go for this icon that is property page. I will click on that. So in this case I will, I will go for define in that rectangle. So the property I can see here that is YD and ZD, I am going to create 0.3 and 0.3 meter that is 1 feet into 1 feet beam. I will provide concrete as a default property then I will click on add. Once you created that property then I will close this window. Then I will select that property now I am going to assign that property to this beam. So using cursor option, I am going to assign, click on this use cursor to assign option, then click on assign, then assign on the beam. So now this beam taken the property of 0.3 into 0.3. Once it is done, then again click on assign, then close this window. So if you want to see this property in 3D rendered view. You can go for this icon that is 3D rendered view. So
so this is the created beam with property 0.3 into 0.3 so after applying property the next step i'm going to create support so so in the given problem the given roller support at this end it is having one reaction that is vertical reaction on the end b the given hinged support it is going to create two reactions i will go to the support page click on support page this window will open that i'm going to create first roller support by default it is fixed support i will go for fixed but option so in roller support only one reaction so i have to release all the things this is the releasing option then i have to restrict in y direction so i did that one if it is open that is restricted in y direction i release in all the other five direction then click on add so this is the created support using cursor i'm going to assign same as how we applied property so i will click on assign button then i will click here so it is assigned to that node then one more support that is hinged support i will click on create then i will go for fixed but option in hinged support there are two restriction so i have to release in other four direction the restrictions are sigma fx and sigma fy then click on add so i created that now i am going to assign using cursor i am going to assign then click on this node once it is assigned again click on assign then close this window so after applying support now i am going to apply loading so this is the icon for applying load click on that it will open this window so in this window i have to create one folder so click on load case detail add so first folder i'm going to create i will name it as udl or else you can keep, keep the default name also no problem but in this case i'm going to create one folder with the name udl it is not necessary that if i create the folder with udl name i have to create only udl just for reference i'm creating this folder you can give any name for this folder then click on add then close so you can see here i created one folder i will add that udl under that folder then i will click on add select first select that folder then click on add so here this window is open in that udl if i see here udl is applying for a span of 5 meter value is 40 kN per meter so that is member load click on this value that is 40 kN acting in downward direction so i have to apply it as minus 40 so after that this d1 d2 d3 value it is acting on the entire span so no need to use this option then it is acting in global y direction then click on add then close so i created that load but it is having question mark that means it is not assigned yet so i will click on that load then same option i'm going to use that is use cursor to assign then click on assign button then click on the beam now this beam taken udl of 40 kN per meter so if this diagram is not visible you can click on this icon that is loads so to see the value i can go for shift v it will show the load value so i created this model i applied the support i applied the property then i applied the loading the next step is the analysis for that i have to give the command that is just we are giving which type of analysis you are going to do in this problem so i will go to command analysis perform analysis i will click on all i want to do everything then click on ok so after that i have to do the analysis just i given command now for that 
doing the analysis go to analyze run analysis then click on save it will do the analysis if i get any warning it is fine in this problem it will say that whatever the hinge support and roller support is not stable if i am getting error i am not going to get the answer see here i got zero error and three warning it is fine i will get the answer go to post processing page then i will go to result view option under that i will enable automatic scaling then mode shape i want to see shear force and bending moment value i will click on these two things then click on apply then okay by default it will show the deflection of the beam i don't want that one i want to check shear force value so i will go for this icon so it will show the shear force diagram so if you want to check the bending moment diagram i will go for this icon that is bending z moment it will show the bending moment diagram so i will on that one shear force y shear y force so if you want to check the shear force value go to results in that view value in that beam result in that i want to check the bend, bending moment at end and bending moment maximum shear force at end and shear force maximum then click on annotate it will show the warning if you keep that diagram on then only it will show the values so i will click on okay then close now shear force diagram is on that is shear y i can see the values also so span of the beam is 5 meter then load value is 40 wl by 2 that is 200 by 2 will get 100 kN as shear force or reaction so i want to check the bending moment diagram i will click on mz wl square by a is the formula to calculate the maximum bending moment i got the maximum bending moment here so if you want to check the load diagram i can see here this is the icon to see the load so after doing the analysis i want to create the report so for that first i will export this view i will create this as image format so i will go for this icon that is export view in the desktop i created one folder report under that i'm going to save this diagram i will name it as beam 1 loading so i want to save in the format jpg before, because i'm familiar with that format then click on save the one more diagram i want to add that is shear force diagram i will on that one again i will click on that export view option then i will change the format that is jpg so i want to save it as shear force sfd then click on save the one more view i want to add that is bmd bending moment diagram export this view change the format into jpg then i will save it as bmd so i created all the diagram now i am going to open this folder that is report in that i have three diagrams so now i am going to create one word document right click new microsoft word document i will name it as beam one report so i will open that word document so i want to insert those three images to this word document so i will go to insert option so in that pictures from this device i saved those pictures in the desktop under the folder report so first diagram i want to import that is loading so i will name this as
loading diagram the next diagram i am going to import i will go to insert option picture from this device that is sfd i will name this as shear force diagram that is sfd the next view i am going to import that is bmd go to insert picture and from this device i will save this as bmd then click on import i will name this as bmd once it is completed save this fold file then go to export i will create it as pdf in the same folder i am going to show uh, save this so here we can see the report in that we added loading diagram shear force diagram and winding moment diagram i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please press the subscribe button thank you